Hey everybody, it's Kelsey and I've got some stuff to talk about. So, as an adult, I do my very best not to take offense. I try not to take things personally and I try to brush off all of the hateful and hurtful things because what you say to me says a lot more about you than it does about me. But I'm fed up. So let's get a few things straight. So I'm going to talk about a few things that I've heard recently. Like, hmm, you should just adopt. Or, you should open a daycare. Or, why do you keep doing this to yourself? It's depressing. Or, stop trying to force it. Or, God's not going to bless you because you're not trusting him. Or, you should just relax. Or, you're not supposed to talk about things like that. And my favorite is, you're so young. Really? Because 26 isn't that young. At all. Or anything that starts with, at least. At least you can get pregnant. Yes, because I can get pregnant and I've had two miscarriages. So I could, but then I lost two babies. Yeah, that's really great. That's a wonderful thing. I can get pregnant, yet they keep dying. At least you don't have to feed a baby in the middle of the night. Do you know how often I dream about breastfeeding a baby in the middle of the night? Because it's pretty freaking stupid how often I dream about that. At least you get to sleep through the night. Mm, nope, still don't do that very often. At least you have a stepson. Yes, you know what? I do. And I am so thankful for him. And I will never, never get over how much I love him. But I did not carry him. And I did not feed him. And I did not change his diapers. And that's what I want more than anything in the world. Is to have a baby that is mine. That I get to raise completely. At least you and your husband get alone time. Yeah. We do. And most of the time it's being spent being sad because Magnus isn't there. Or me being sad because I'm not pregnant anymore. At least you don't have to get fat. Wow, that's a really horrible thing to say to someone that all they want to do is be pregnant. At least you don't have morning sickness. Do you know how much money I would pay to be sick every morning? Listen, I understand that me having this channel puts myself out there for everyone to see and everyone to scrutinize. I am opening myself up for people to hate on me and to troll me and to be downright horrible to me just because they want to weigh in on my situation and on my life and how I live it. But you don't have to be a douchebag. You don't have to be a douchebag. If you don't like what I share, don't watch it. If you don't like what I post, don't read it. Don't come to my channel and complain about how many pregnancy tests I take. This is a trying to conceive channel. As in, I'm going to pee on a lot of things. And I'm going to talk about a lot of things that nobody else wants to hear about unless you are trying to get pregnant. I'm going to talk about a lot of gross stuff. And I'm going to share a heck of a lot more than normal people will share. Because this isn't for you if you have a problem with it. This is for everyone else who is trying to have a baby that needs someone who knows what they're going through and knows how to talk about it so then someone else can listen to them and they won't feel like they're weird. So if my channel isn't something that you want to hear about or listen to or read about or watch, then please by all means, go away. Just go away. This channel is obviously not for you. 
I'm doing this for me and my fellow TTC sisters who are trying to have a baby, who are trying to carry a pregnancy that actually results in a live, breathing child. Because not everybody gets that. I'm doing this for me and my future child so that one day they can look back at my channel and see, you know what? My mom went through so much to get to me. And they can see everything that I went through and all of the heartbreaking months and all of the miscarriages and all of the negative tests and all of the getting my hopes up. And they can know just how much they were wanted and longed for and prayed for and loved well before they were even created. So unless you have walked in my shoes, don't tell me what to do. People dealing with fertility issues, because I am not saying that I am infertile and I will never say that I am infertile again and I hope you don't either because we are not infertile, we just have fertility challenges and it takes a little bit more for us to get pregnant. We don't want your advice. All we want is your support. So unless you have something encouraging to say, keep your mouth shut. I assure you, we have tried it all, we have heard it all, we have read everything we can find, we know, okay? This is a process that we all have to work through. No one's journey is the same as someone else's. We all have our own difficulties through this and we have to deal with it differently. But it is our journey. We have to deal with it. And as much as we want to, we can't rush it. <laughs> as much as we try to rush it, it doesn't work. We have to go through all of the steps, try all of the things, and grieve when we need to. Whether it's another month of negative tests, or bad news at the doctor, or another chemical pregnancy, or another miscarriage, or another milestone like me. Tomorrow, I would have been 23 weeks pregnant. And I grieve every Tuesday even if it's just for a few minutes. And I acknowledge what week I would be in in my pregnancy and how big my baby would be and how much longer I would have left. We have to deal with it and we have to grieve it individually because grieving is healing. Because if you just absolutely refuse to grieve, then you can't heal. And you never get over it because you didn't have a chance to work through it. So if you don't have anything encouraging to say, shut up. If I know you in real life and I used to talk to you about baby stuff, but now I don't anymore, it's probably because I don't want to make an ass of myself by telling you how ignorant and unhelpful whatever your snarky comments are. So, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. If you have not dealt with infertility and tried and tried and tried and tried to get pregnant, I don't want to hear your options because I swear to God, I have tried all of them. This isn't just a relax and you'll get pregnant. Like there are physical and psychological things that have to happen before you can get pregnant. So I just want to tell you guys that because I've had a lot of stuff happening recently. And it's really irritating. Like I know some of you are trying to be helpful, but it it is not helpful whatsoever. Don't tell me what I should do. Just encourage me that I can do it. And because 
I know that God is going to be the one that says, all right, it's your turn. So I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs, waiting for God to say, okay, here you go. So it's, it's not something that I can do. It's not something that I can read. It's not a new supplement that I can take. I am trying to get my body the healthiest that it can be because healthy bodies, healthy eggs make, make healthy babies. So that is what I am going on right now. And I just wish you would go on it too. If you have a negative comment to leave on my channel, don't. Because I'm going to block you so that you will never be able to comment on my channel again. And it's just hateful and rude. My mother did not teach me to be hateful or rude. And if your mother knew what you were saying to me, I'm sure she would be really proud of you. So now I'm done. I'm over it. But I had to get this out there because I am tired of holding it in. I am a very kind, kind person. But I'm tired of being walked all over and I'm tired of people trying to help me but really being jerks to me about it. So I've said what I had to say. And if you're a douchebag, I'm going to block you. That's all I got to say.